Welcome to the Palm Beach Rare Fruit Council's training video for cashiers. We hold plant sales twice a year, in March and in July. During this video, you'll see how easy it is to work our cash registers. So please consider volunteering for one of our plant sales. You will have instructions written here that you can refer to with your cash register. You'll receive some tickets for fertilizer. When you give these tickets out for each bag of fertilizer, there's one ticket, you'll mark either member or non-member. And we also have the tag pullers pulling the tags for you, and these are examples of some tags that came off the tips of the labels that we have on the trees and plants and herbs. We also have the tag canister. On the cash register, we have four important buttons. One is for plants and produce, one is for fertilizer, one is for any books or donations, and the other is for membership. Here's a close-up of the cash register. We have four departments. Department one is plants and produce. Department two is fertilizer. Department three is books and donations. And department four is membership. To turn on the machine, you turn the key to REG. If you press this key, the drawer will open. That's the way we end the sale. With the number keys, supposing it's $15, you would press 1, 5, and then the double zero. I want to clear that entry, I can press clear. If you want to you put a change in, say $15.50, one, five, five, oh, will give you $15.50. There are other keys on the register which you don't have to be concerned with. These shift and the PLU price lookup is something for other departments which we don't have to deal with. There's a tax button, several tax buttons and shift buttons that you don't need to deal with. There's a percentage button you don't need to deal with. And another key here, which is CH. That's for credit card. And if you press that, the amount tendered cannot be added into it. You wouldn't want to press this at all because we don't use credit cards. To open the drawer with no sale, simply press the giant blue button. If you see the E, that means an error was made. When you see the small little O in the corner here, that means that's giving you a subtotal. Then, when you open the drawer and you finish the transaction, the F means that it's finalized. The P appears when it is programmed. If you see an L in the corner, that means that the battery is low. Written on it, the cost for fertilizer for members and non-members, the cost for membership, and the cost for screen on the left-hand side, number one would be department number one, which would mean a plant or produce sold for $12. Two 
is a bag of fertilizer that we just sold to a member for $18. Three, that's a book someone just bought for $8. And then, of course, the membership, that would be Department 4, which would be $20. And the way you turn it on is just by simply turning the key to the REG position. Remember, at the end of each sale, each purchaser is provided the receipt and any tickets for any fertilizer purchased. We accept cash and checks at the sales. No credit cards, but there is usually an ATM machine right outside of the arena so people can get cash out of that machine. Now we'll show you how to make a sale. We have some fertilizer tickets here. This is an example of a fertilizer ticket. You'll write your cashier number on the ticket and you'll mark either member or non-member and there is one ticket per bag. So if someone purchases two tickets, there you have it. We have two tickets here. They, these are tags that have been pulled by your tag puller. One is for a rose apple for $12, another one is for a June plum for $20. We're going to also assume that the person is going to purchase a membership. So here we go. You start out entering the item cost. The first one, say, is the June plum, $20. 20, and you can use the double zero, and then you put it under plants and produce. The next one, the rose apple, $12 under plants and produce. Now the person wants to purchase a membership, which is $20. They will fill out the membership form for us, and then all you simply need to do is press the membership button, which is pre-programmed for $20. Then they want to buy two bags of fertilizer. You have two tickets here. You'll enter that the person now is a member, you'll circle that, and then you would enter the fertilizer, which at this point is $18 for members. Fertilizer. Then you can also press the fertilizer again, that will come out again, same button as $18. That would complete our sale right now. We will press the subtotal, which is $88. You will accept the money, supposing the person gives you $90. Put in $90, change is $2. The drawer opens when you hit that big blue button. The sale is complete. A success. Then what you do is you give the person the change, of course put the money in there, give the person the change, and the tags that have been pulled go into the tag canister. These tickets are given to the purchaser and they are provided to the people outside dispensing the fertilizer bags and they'll be collected later by the people dispensing the fertilizer bags. Now we'll go through this again with a check transaction. You have the rose apple for 12, the June plum for 20, the membership, the two bags of fertilizer for 18, and then you subtotal it, it's $88. Now if the person gives you a check, you simply press the, the amount given, $88, if the check was written for that, and you press check. Amount due is zero, and the cash register drawer also opens for you to put the check in.
explains how if you have a mistake. Say we have it put in $12, but oh, you made a mistake. What you do is you can press clear. No problem. Now if you've already put in the $12 and you've already pressed plan, what you can do is you can press void. That will take off the $12, simple. Then you could just go on to your regular purchase and sale. If you find that you've made a mistake further down, they cannot be changed further down in the sale, only if you've just noticed the mistake. If that happens, just take the tag out, write on it void, and place it into your canister with your plant tags, and we'll take care of that later. Pressing the subtotal, open the drawer, we'll end that. Take the receipt out that was the mistake and place it into the cashier's canister. Now that you've seen how easy it is to handle one of our cash registers, please consider volunteering for one of our plant sales as a cashier.